So hi, my name is Makoto Okamoto. I'm CEO of MNK Echo. Our mission statement is MNK Echo creates quality causes that respect environment to provide justice for all people to find themselves where and where their values. Our goal is developing the brand awareness and beautifully ecosystem steps. Since our target market is 18 to 35 years old, those generations use Instagram the most. So we decided to make Instagram account and within six months, we want 1K followers. And within three to five years, we want to complete the ecosystem steps, which includes packing the clothes with eco-friendly material and use eco-friendly vehicle for transportation. And within five years, we want 90% final customer satisfaction based on our survey and the comments on the website. Our in industry is environmentally sustainable fashion based on our research on 2020, the market has $6 billion and it will expect to have $16 billion on 2030. Our legal structure is partnership and physical location is Pleasant Hill where we are currently living. Our geographic research is San Francisco and Bay Area Based on our research, San Francisco is one of the most eco-friendly city and Bay Area has 1.3 million people with age of 18 to 35 years old, which means we have a lot of potential customers. We are going to use organic cotton and laser for neckline and logo. The reason we use organic cotton is during the growing process, Organic cotton use 91% less water than not normal cottons. So nice to see you everyone. My name is Ken and I am the CMO from MNK Eco. And for our products, we're going to have t-shirt, sweater, hats, and pants. And what we are wearing today is the product that we're going to sell with our logo on it. And we are mostly gonna sell on online and our business plan is going to be B2C, which is a, a business to consumer. In order to do, do that, we are going to open many pop-ups in many events, university, college, and San Francisco in the future. Our main way to, for promotion is going to be on social media, which is Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And we also want to ask for many influencers to advertising for us. Uh, moving on to our market analysis, we are, we are confident of what we are going to sell. And because many people are concerned about uh, environmental um, problems, therefore uh, the sustainable clothing are more developing. As well as our brand, we also want to solve uh, the problem by saying no to every chemical product for our product. Uh, for, however, for the weakness, we are lack of awareness for the first time opening, and also we have minimal budgets on advertising. We also have to catch up with the fast, uh, fashion trends, and the low quality products with low price might be a significant threat for us. Hi everyone, my name is Natasha and I'm the CFO. So you can see uh, here our income statement and you can see that during the three years we have a considerable increase of revenue. Half a million dollars the first years, one million dollars the second years and almost two million dollars the third years. Very consequent number. Um, our third years, we have a very big, huge uh, increase in the revenue because we are expanding to LA and we are going to sell our points starting the third years. And our gross marginal is of uh, 61%, which is also very good. Um, our capital cost will be $60 million. Uh, we will use that for inventory for three months for our warehouse and for the budget market. We will research our, we will, we will have our break-even points 
um, at the end of the second years, we are asking for 50,000 uh, 50, uh, K. A dollar, sorry, <laughs> fifty thousand dollar. Um, we are asking for oh, We are repaying fifty fifty fifty. Oh, sorry, we are asking for fifty percent interest back. Interest, which is very interesting. Uh, we will use that for operation and um, starting our startup. Thank you for listening, and we are ready for your question. I love it. I, this is just great, and I the T-shirts. Got my attention from the very beginning. Very cool. Thank you so much. Um, I the part that uh, fascinates me is how many shirts you need to sell, and so I start to think about, okay, what does that really look like? So where are they manufactured, and who will be, you know, putting them in the boxes, shipping them? Is that you, or do you have some significant payroll so at the beginning? Actually, we are going to do partnership. So uh, our products are in the warehouse, and we are the one who's um, so we are the clothes are made in Brazil. We we find a farmer um, farmer cotton where they produce organic cotton, and we find a manufactory where uh, human rights are respect. So they are not working too many hours, and they have a good pay. Um, and we are in the beginning going to do the the um, the making box and say it to the customer. Excellent, John. Um, I feel that your your purpose is very clear. What I wanted to ask you was, um, I want to understand the product a little bit more. And what I mean by that is, are, is it when you're selling the shirt, um, is it always going to have your logo? Are you are you really trying to sell the brand and then the product behind that? Are you are you concerned about relevance or? drawing enough people into, I don't want to say limited, that's not the right word I'm looking for, but such a specific product, like the foundation of the product is excellent, but how, how sustainable do you think it's going to be with just this, or are you planning on expanding? I know that several different things going on in my mind right now, but I'm just more curious about the, the, the product itself. Um, yes, thank you so much for your question. Uh, for the products, we, we, we want to sell our products more than our brand. And for our brand, we, we would like to expand more in the future. So first of all, we, will to, we, go, we are going to open in Bay Area and San Francisco, but in the future, we hope to open in LA and more and more um, cities, and we would like to open like international in the future. So, so as far as like look and style, is it are there different colors? Is it just is this yeah. so okay? I'm just I'm trying to get a better picture of your actual brand. Yeah. Yeah. So we try to make organic clothes more popular mm -hmm. and more accessible to everyone. Okay. So. It will be, the logo will be different color, there will be different shape of t-shirts. Okay. Um, we want to make it also more stylish, because nowadays organ, uh, organic clothes are more sports clothes, and then we want to make it more daily based clothes. Got it, thank you. Thank you, that, that was a really interesting presentation. I appreciate your time and effort. Uh, my question uh, has a little bit more to do, following uh, my, my fellow judge here, with your specific place in the market. Uh, in one of your slides, you mentioned um, using influencers, connecting with influencers to raise the level of your brand. And I think the influencers that you select will have a lot to do with where your brand is positioned. So I was just curious if you've thought that far ahead about specific uh, Instagrammers that, that you would want to uh, partner with. That's, that's a great question. We, we haven't think about like specific um, uh, any influencer, but we because we we are open in a small area right now, so we would like to ask for um, many local influencers. We have an idea of taking the sports uh, athletes on uh, college university to wear our brands and make uh, some ad advertising for us. Thank you so much. Thank you for your question.